The Flying Y interchange in Pocatello and Chubbuck continues to make progress. Right, I go past it every single day. I'm watching it take, take shape. It's pretty exciting. Now, those changes have already been made to the I-86 and I-15 interchange, but there's still an awful lot to do. Local News 8 reporter Cole Sams shows us what's ahead. The Gate City is under construction, and work here on I-15 is getting done in a hurry. The lowering of the ramp from westbound traffic from northbound I-15 to I-86 is now complete. Now the focus has shifted to the building of eight new bridges. We are getting ready to start putting in the uh, piles for the new bridges, and people are going to be seeing cranes out there. Um, by the end of the month, we'll be, be doing a little bit of pile driving. Um, but what people are really going to see is a whole lot more construction going on. The current bridges were built in the 1960s and were exceeding their lifespan. They will be replaced by new ones. We have a choice. Do we lower load limits or do we replace the bridges? If we lower the load limits, that hurts commerce. Truckers can't go through and it hurts Idaho's economy. So as we looked at this and we saw the age of those bridges from the 1960s, we said, hey, the bridges need to be replaced. Speed limits in the work area are now set at 55 miles per hour, with work being done day and night. What's the quickest and safest way to get it done for the taxpayer? So we're really careful about where we put the workers. Um, there is some nighttime work that we do now on this project. It's 24-7, 365 a year is when they can work. Justin Smith of the Idaho Transportation Department says the project couldn't have come at a better time. There's a lot of traffic through the system interchange. And you know that's one of the reasons why we're doing it now. If we waited five or six years, that traffic would be even more and it'd be even more disruptive. The project is a part of Governor Little's Leading Idaho Initiative. It's changing how the heart of the interstate in Pocatello appears. What they'll see over the coming years is not just the system interchange. Uh, we will be widening I-15 all the way to Idaho Falls to six lanes. Um, we're rebuilding the exit 80 interchange over at Fort Hall. And there's a lot of these projects going on. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Cole Sams.